Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to ruin show growth, show growth, whatever you want to call this dude. Um, honestly, he's a pretty solid dragon. I'm enjoying flying him. He's definitely not terrible. Um, he's definitely not Namaka either. Um, he has some flaws, some weaknesses, but overall, for a lot of players, I feel like he will definitely be a viable option as far as legendaries go. And let's be honest here, all right? This guy looks sick, you know? I mean, just a visually, he looks amazing. Skill set wise, interesting combinations. Um, but, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about how I would ruin this guy. So, how I've currently ruined him is I have his invoker runes, uh, the, like the runes that actually come with his line. So you have invoke, which assimilate healing by 15%, and then the 20% mythic. Now the mythic, if you have Namaka, may be better suited for Namaka as it increases invoker attack. Now there aren't that many invoker type runes yet, right? Because we've only had two invokers, right, in the game? Yeah, only two invokers. And we only have those two runes, and I believe they are now giving out mythic runes in silver chests for invokers. I saw a screenshot of one. I don't know if it was like photoshopped or not, but anyways, I've seen it. So as of right now, I will, I'm believing that they are actually in the system or like in the, um, rotation. So we may be getting a few more, um, but you're kind of limited on like how many of these glyphs slash runes you can get for specifically invoker attack or invoker HP. So what that means is, is you have the invoker runes, right, that come with the dragon. I wouldn't put Namaka's runes on him, by the way. I personally feel like the mythic glyph of assimilation is better suited for Namaka if you got him. Um, I would just put his legendary rune of assimilation if you have Namaka. If you don't, go ahead and put the mythic on. Um, because again, show growth is definitely not terrible. And we are having the rune removal thing uh, being a thing pretty soon. So, that would be nice. All right, now as far as actual runes go, um, I would definitely say, again, put the legendary on him. If you have Namaka, put the, don't put the mythic on. But if you don't, go ahead and do it. Um, and then as far as the rest of them. So as I said, you're limited. So you're kind of stuck between either runes that only buff dragon HP, not like warrior dragon HP, not hunter dragon, not sorcerer. But it says specifically, if you see right here, epic rune of pride at the very top, it says dragon HP. There's no specific, like you know, type of dragon that that will actually buff. So it will buff invokers. So this rune works pretty well. Um, and you're kind of stuck to that and rage glyphs or dark flak resist. Now I will say dark flak resist runes are not freaking worth putting on this guy unless you just want to increase his, you know, damage uh, numbers, not his damage numbers, but his like attack power number to make your, you know, dragons look better. But the dark flak resist isn't really going to do a whole lot. It's just kind of a nice thing to have if you know, you need a legendary rune to put on to make him look pretty, you know, which I've done before for sure. So as far as actual, you know, besides those two, so really, again, you're stuck with, you know, the HP or attack or rage. In my opinion, this guy needs more rage than anything. Um, even though his spells are just one rage each, he doesn't have a way for one to dodge any mage shots. But two, both of these spells, or I guess Rither, Rith, 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 Rither, I can't. Rither, Rither, I think, um, you can use pretty consistently, like, back to back to back, and for some reason or another, your rage goes super freaking fast, so, in my opinion, this guy is definitely in need of some rage, so, I would definitely put, like, either a epic or legendary rage rune, and then for glyphs, I would definitely put, like, a rage glyph, I would put, um, you know, if you have like an epic rage cliff and then legendary, I would definitely do that again, assuming you're going to be using show. Um, and then as this for the final glyph, I would honestly either put like wisdom or some other rune that has a, um, rage modifier. So for example, right here, epic rejuvenate glyph, you have the rage generation modifier. So when you level this up, even though rejuvenate is technically not on this dragon, the rage generation still applies to the dragon, right? Just in case you didn't know that nice tip. So you have some extra runes that you can use. Like, again, all of these will work. Even though it says Epic Sorcerer Attack, you technically could put this on this dragon and level it up, and you would still get the Rage Generation, which is super duper nice. Um, just, of course, you know, the Sorcerer Attack wouldn't actually work. So, anyways, and then as far as, like, HP and Attack goes, I would definitely say this guy needs Attack. Um, you have to be able to kill Towers. Otherwise, 
you're screwed. Because if you don't kill the towers and they live, you know, for, from the first, like, uh, invoker attack, you're pretty much dead. You're pretty much dead. And also, that increased attack helps you kill towers, which actually gives you HP back, right? So that's crucial to his survival because, again, he's an invoker. He does have a decent amount of HP, um, but definitely could use some improvements. Um, so definitely, I would go for HP. Just, you know, not HP. Uh, definitely go for attack just to increase the ability to heal. HP, like I, you know, I put HP mostly because I had the rune ready. Um, I don't have the attack rune for, like, the epic version of the attack rune yet. Or not yet, but just, you know, available. So I went ahead and put the HP because, you know what? Extra tanking ability is never a bad thing. So let's go ahead and attack real quick, just one, um, and see how it goes. And then we will end the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it helped you guys out. All right, let's let's uh, let's attack uh, the base here. What, what kind of base do we want to hit? We could hit that, we could hit Death by Dread, we could hit Mac Player, that's a good base. Or we could hit Balerian B Dread, totally could do that. Alright, we're going to do this. It's not using inner fire, and see how it goes. This may be a fail, but you know what, it's okay. Alright, you you, le you live and you learn. So, I will make a video on how to fly him. Again, he's fairly simple, so I feel like not a whole lot of people are going to like need to know how to fly this dragon. Um, and I'm, again, I'm not the best flyer in the world either, so, yeah. That's gonna stun me, alright, and then we'll do that. Um, the main idea is, again, not letting your health drop too low, but also making sure that you have the invoker shot ready whenever you come up to islands. And using the toxic spell, the, the tox, the whatever you want to call it, um, whenever you're turning, and also, you'll notice that my stuff, actually, my invoker shot actually resets in time in order to use it, and I'll actually come out early so I can, um, use the invoker. The issue that I've seen, um, or a, a problem, is if you come out of the cloak too early, um, and it destroys all these towers, you lose the ability to actually heal, which, obviously, you know, you want to be able to heal, um, as that's, like, one of the biggest things with this dragon, um, is that he doesn't have a whole lot of HP, so you have to get that healing from his Invoker Shot. So make sure that the Blast from the Rither spell, Writhe, Rith, uh, Rithy, I don't know, <laughs> dang it, uh, from the Rither spell doesn't actually kill the towers you want, because for example, in this case, it would actually kill that Ice Flak, which is HP that you actually need. Um, so that's why I wait sometimes or go out of the Cloak early in order to prevent that from happening. That was really bad timing there on my part because <clears throat> I messed up. All right, there we go. And we got all of our HP back and we'll come out of that just to deal a little bit of damage. And there we go. I mean, again, he's a very like, he's not a super difficult dragon to fly. Very, very limited, like, you know, potential as far as combinations to use in, in skill set. But he's definitely not a terrible dragon. He's effective. Um, especially against undefended bases. Against defended bases, you'll start to see him struggling, especially against, like, Earth Flax and Storm Towers. Like, like all Invokers. I guess the, you know, two Invokers we have. Both of those towers really mess these guys up just because of their limited shots. So, anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.